What's going on guys? It is me, Rake is back with a new video. I mean, it's been such a long time since I did a video, but man, I'm hyped right now. I am so hyped for this game. It is unbelievably, uh, unbe un unbelievable. I can't even speak properly. Uh, I could, I never could really speak properly English, but uh, I'm trying, you know, and, and I think I can do better. But my goodness, man, I'm so hyped for this. So, um, <clears throat> I'm doing this video right pretty much after we've seen the... Uh, the stream on Cole Carnage's channel, by the way, on Twitch, uh, where they did the, the next uh, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen Death stream. And my god, every time I see this game, I just want to play it even more. It just hypes me up so much. And, you know, I have a job again. I'm not doing very that many videos anymore, and I'm not that active anymore online. But my god, th this is the game that I'm just destined to play. It, it, it's just what it always feels like. And I kind of want to go over some points. Um, that, that I just saw that really make me super interested in it. Some things that, um, you know, might be worth uh, talking about. So let's just go over, over it a bit. Um, as we can see on the screen here, by the way, um, Kilson is playing a female human, which is super cool. Because so far we've, we've mostly only seen... Uh, let me make sure everything is recording. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Um, which is super cool because mainly we've only seen human, uh, human males, you know, uh, which is cool. But it, I always kind of wanted to see the female model because generally when I play more PGs, I play females. Not sure why. Just I guess I like looking at them. I, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of like a female warrior, kind of like Xena or something, you know. Um, so it's super cool that we've seen that. A bit deeper in the video, we can actually see her better because I remember I, I was actually asking him in the chat if he could zoom in on... On, uh, on the female human a bit, and he actually did, which is super cool. He didn't say anything, but he actually zoomed in on it. Um, so I, that's one thing that I realized, which is super nice. We see like the bit of the casting animation over here. I guess my camera's kind of blocking it right now, which is not too, um, uh, not that, that good, but super cool, right? One of the first things that I kind of noticed. Um, and we're in the dungeon, right? It's, it's like a new dungeon, and honestly, guys, the way the stuff looks, I love it. I, I don't understand why people come in into the chat and start bashing on the looks of this game. Maybe that's because I'm old. Maybe that's because I like those kind of games. I think it looks absolutely beautiful, right? Sure, the animations, um, the, 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 the health bars and that kind of stuff, it looks very basic. But if we look around, the way the walls look, the castle, the surroundings, like the lightning, the lighting, right? And also the... The, the, just the way uh, the, the graphics already are on the walls and the castle and that kind of stuff and how dark it sometimes looks. I love this so much. I, I love the atmosphere. And I think if they, honestly, they wouldn't even have to change anything here besides like the, sure, the animations, the models, like the, the health bar, the names, that kind of stuff. But the surroundings, I'll play exactly like this. This is absolutely beautiful. I love it here. The blue flame here looks super cool. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this because I think it looks phenomenal. I really, really like it. But I, I have to m make sure I tell you guys that I'm not a big fan of games like Black Desert, for example. I'm not a guy who's looking for an MMORPG where people jump three meters into the air. It's flashy to do like 360 kick, kick arounds and, and knockbacks and, and fly. It can kind of fly as well, right? I'm not looking forward to this. I I love this game for what it is right now, and I cannot wait to play it. I hope that they're not going to change their ways too much, and I'm somehow I don't think they will. So, um, you know, if they go for what they for, for what they are doing right now, this is just going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, we see them doing the dungeon here. Uh, it was super cool. It looks so challenging. I love it. When I see like uh, oh he died here. Uh, when I see like them fighting one mob as five people, I love this. I love the slow, more tactical approach, and I hope that they won't change that too much because that's one of those points where I, that I always see in the chat in the chat, right? Where people complain about the combat is not fast enough. I don't know, man. Like I think it's great. I like it, right? I want to spend time with my buddies. Taking a while to take mobs down. Sometimes we're dying. Like I, I, I think it's absolutely perfect the way it is, and I hope they won't change it too much. Uh, let's go further. So they were doing this dungeon, which looks super cool. Um, will take me way too long if I talk about everything, but I just want to go over some points that I, that I, that I seen. Um, but I, I just think I, I just think it looks awesome. I'm not the biggest fan of the rogues, so uh, and and Ko was playing a rogue, but I mean I'm sure a lot of you guys really really like the rogues too. I uh, always love the way those NPCs are flying in as well, if they're like kind of like a ghost. Uh, I, don't, I didn't quite understand those lightning things, if someone maybe explains them a bit to me. Uh, I didn't understand what this is all about. Why is there like such a lightning thing? Is that is that a spell? Is that, Oh, maybe he's CC'd or something? Oh, I never thought... I, I, I didn't... I didn't... 
I didn't understand it quite. Um, that's one of the things that they have to be kind of careful with, right? That they, like, a lot of stuff, like, it, it seems to be kind of like... Sometimes it felt like there was too much going on on the screen, right? There's, like, flashy stuff from our attacks, but then there's also, like, a lot of flashy things from our CCs and, and a lot of flashy things from the enemies. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, wasn't too bad, but uh, uh, we definitely have to kind of see, uh, you know, how it's uh, developing there. Uh, what else do we have here? Absolutely beautiful. Like, I don't know, like, if I see this here, this wall, those crystals... This looks awesome. I just want to explore this cave, this castle, this underground castle. It just looks so cool to me. Just love it. Let me know what you guys think about the the way the castle looked, or maybe it was a cave, something like this. I, I'm not sure what 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 exactly it was. Uh, what animation? What animation? Oh yeah, let's actually stop here real quick. That's one thing that I, that I noticed too. Too, I absolutely love the way those cryptlings cryptlings look. By the way, I'm not sure if anyone else kind of looked at them that close but i was actually writing it in the chat a lot um i love the way i don't think those are models that they took from somewhere right they need to make their own models and i think those goblins look absolutely cool um i'm not sure if we get a good picture here of them uh but the, uh, there were definitely moments where they were zooming out uh, zooming in more I, I love the way they look I, I actually asked if that was a playable race more as a joke but just just uh, intending that i think they look absolutely fantastic I love the way they look. Really, really cool. Um, and then was like there was an animation. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna find it here. Um, I'm not sure if it was a res, uh, but there was like an animation that had like a a bird, like a a pretty much a spectral bird, um, which looked super cool. I don't think I'm gonna find it here, but I think it it was whenever they rest co, um, which happened quite a lot to be honest. <laughs> Just joking, um, but we've seen it a couple of times, but I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna find it here. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. Loved it. It lo it looked so cool. Uh, and it's kind of funny that one of one of the highlights of this um, was I really liked this room here. I'm not sure if it was that room uh, where there were like was like a, a mummy or like a statue lying on a on an altar. I think that's super cool. There's so much so much so much potential for like a story or a note or something. I mean, there was a note, but I'm not quite sure what it said. But like a lot of like mystery stuff going on, stuff where you can ask yourself like, what happened here? You know, what was going on there? Um, super cool. And then we obviously had like a really cool. I it was this room here. It's just the way it looks, man. I'm such a big fan. It looks fantastic. And then uh, there was like a, a a boss fight here somewhere. Oh, let me see. Yeah, especially if everything is climbable. They said everything is climbable. That is very interesting. Because I was assuming there was only certain areas where you could climb. So I assume you could just go on a wall here and just climb up. That gives so many possibilities, like, in the outside world to, like, climb up stuff. Man, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to go on climbing, climb journeys. <laughs> so cool. And then we had, like, a boss fight here at the end. Um... Not sure where it is here. It was pretty much at the end of the, pretty much at the end of the stream, or almost at the end, I think. Um. Where is it? Did we already do? Oh, here it is. That's also super cool because that's like the first time I've seen like some kind of mechanics coming into the fight, where you you would see like those a a enemy mobs here, and if they die or at a certain percentage, I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, they would uh, walk towards the boss as like some kind of soul, which means you would have to w focus the soul and, and nuke it down before um, before it reaches the boss, uh, or else the boss would probably heal up or something. Um, so super cool. We're already seeing those those kind of mechanics coming into the boss fights. Loving it. It looks awesome. Um, I'm not sure what happened because there was a moment where they all just got just died, like an insane kind of damage. Yeah, this whole look at this. This looks so cool. Look at this. Got thief. I'm gonna pull him back a little bit from the middle. Oh, he didn't. No, Wait he a does. second. Oh, oh, that's not. What is out. this? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Did I have to get behind this? This is these awesome. Two? Oh my okay. god. Yeah, I. Maybe they would have to go behind the pillars or something. <laughs> that looked already <laughs> super good. That looked so good, especially the music. How the music was going like super deep. Wait, give me a second. I want to see this again. Is it happening here? Yeah, it's happening here. Just the way it sounds, this is scary. I love this, like, dark atmosphere, man. 
Oh, oh my. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, they had to go behind okay, the pillars because I've seen those two guys Oof. were actually going behind <laughs> the pillars and they didn't take any damage. Oh, so cool. Absolutely fantastic. And then um, one of the highlights of the stream was actually also at the end of the stream when they were about to be done and he left the area, right? And he spawned in some... This loading screen, already super cool. Implies some kind of maybe like story from like certain factions or races i'm not sure what we see here maybe if you guys know what we're seeing here let me know um and one of the highlights was when he left it actually right because you saw like the you know the gray boxing and stuff and you were like oh you know gray boxing okay cool but then the music good to have some new eyes on it and i know that we have some fans out there too the music is already so good and just seeing this how it starts to build up like, and exactly what Cole was saying, it already looked so good. Like, if you if you like those kind of games, you could tell how beautiful this looked. Just check it out. Coming in, if you are interested, if you uh, feel like this is something that you could really sink your teeth into, just a reminder, we are a crowdfunded game. Uh, the whole reason this is possible is through the pledges that our fans have made. So head on over to I can't believe there's already music there. On MMO.com, we've got a wide array of different pledge um, tiers that you can join. I might have revived, and I might be looking around this new zone with the nice music. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pre alpha development, so. So this is beautiful. What, uh, the music, this is what man. The game, beautiful game. It's already bringing me there. Like when they're being, being built. And right. and feeling this about the Such area that isn't even done. Such a blast. So excited to have you on here. Check Co. this we out really now. To get you back, get you on the monk. Check this out. The way it looks oh, here, sure. the grass right. and stuff. This this zone, like even even with the gray boxing. Uh, oh man, like you, you can see it. You can see yep. it coming together. Yep. Like this is this is not exactly far what off I was from thinking. Exactly what I'm I'm hoping to get from this game. Just large yep. big zones, little camps everywhere. It looks so interesting, good. Interesting things to do. The music's good. Um, awesome man. Awesome to hear. Absolutely fantastic guys. Like I cannot wait for this. I was so hyped after I seen it. I'm sure you guys were hyped. This game, man. Um. I cannot wait, guys. And that's the sad thing about this, because it's going to take such a long time until it comes out. But at the end of the, at the end of the day, if it comes out, we're hopefully going to have a big, big new world to explore. And, man, I cannot wait. And one thing that is super cool to me is, like, all those people who joined the chat and were kind of shit-talking the game, even though I think it already looks pretty damn good. Maybe it's just me being biased or something, but I think it looks pretty good. And... I don't know, man, guys. And that's a cool thing, right? Since this game is going to be sub-based, I wasn't sure if it's going to be sub-based, but they mentioned it during the team, uh, during the stream multiple times. It's sub-based, and I think, actually, at first I was like, maybe that's not a good thing, right? Because, you know, a lot of people won't sub. But then I was like, wait, it's actually a good thing. Because those people love those kind of games, they will sub. And it will keep out a lot of people who, you know, just wanted to try it out real quick and see if it's like a fast combat or something, or... Or they, they don't like those type of games. And it already keeps those people kind of off. Um, so, I don't know. I think, actually, sub-base is a pretty good idea uh, to do. Um, I guess we don't know how high the sub is going to be. But, I don't know, guys. I'm just so hyped. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, I don't know, man. It just... It just uh, I don't know, man. I'm so ready to play this. It's going to take another 5, 6, 7, 8 years. 10 years. I don't know. Um, but, man, it looks great. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Peace. And, uh... Goodbye. Boo.